Hi, we're back. This is part two. We're now going into the troop barracks. This side over here is the garrison. This is where the soldiers sleep, eat, and um, practice, play games. Over here is the armory with all the different weapons. This table has swords, breastplates, arms, or hand handcuffs. Shields, armor suits, more shields and axes. These men are ready for battle at any time. We are now leaving the barracks and dungeon. We're now going into the second curtain wall, through the second curtain wall, into the inner courtyard. The reason they had two courtyards was that if the first courtyard was breached, they could all go into the second courtyard and hide in there, and then the invaders would have to break down the second one as well. Inside the second curtain wall, they were filled with rubble, rubble, and that's how they were built up. All the curtain walls had this, even tower walls. The inner courtyard also contained the keep, which was usually seven stories high and had one defendable entrance. Later. This is the stables where the horses were kept for the knights and the garrison and the knights and the lords and ladies. This pen here is where livestock was kept. In the back is pigs, here is cows eating hay. They would have also had um, chickens maybe for eggs and other farm. Now we'll go to the kitchen. The first fireplace was where they hanged the cauldron to boil water and they would cook things like soup and stew. This is where the storage is. There's lots of storage in the kitchen. There was also a root cellar for um, cold storage because there was no refrigeration. The second fireplace was used for cooking roast and um, big game. Over here they're hanging sausages to cure. There's barrels, wine, and beer, and whatever else they would have in them. Food on the tables that the kitchen staff was preparing because they had to feed the whole castle. This one has meats and fruits. This man is working with fish, salting them, and preserving them. bread and this is the bread oven. This is an entire view of the whole kitchen. Now go out and here's the dog kennels. They were used for hunting. Over here is the mew, where the um, birds were kept for falconry.
Inside the bottom level of the keep is the well. It's supplied it's um here because of an underwater spring. It is in the well, it is in the keep here, safe from enemies and close to the kitchen. This here is ivy growing up the wall. This here is the Great Hall. Up here on the raised platform is where the king and the queen with their family and subjects would sit. The Great Hall was where they had huge feasts. We are now going to go into the keep. This is the chapel. All castles had a chapel. They had stained glass windows, a raised podium for the altar, it's the Bible, and where everyone sat. This here is the throne room. All official business was taken care of, taken care of here. The king and the queen sat on this raised platform, and that is their coat of arms. Here is a big fireplace. Almost every room in a castle had a fireplace because it was, they were used to keep it warm because castles were drafty. This is the castle library, where they could get the books they wanted to read. Behind this library is a secret door. The secret room contains um, a very valuable book. Oh no, the doors have closed. But luckily, there's an escape route. Ladies had special areas for leisure time, and this is their outdoor garden patio thing. We're now going to go out to where the servants are. This is just another part of the tower on the outside. This tower here and the tower on the other side, I'm using these towers only for servants quarters. They had a sim single bed and a fireplace, the same as upstairs and all the upstairs rooms. I meant downstairs rooms. Here we are back inside the throne room. We're going to go upstairs, up another level. We are now in the tapestry room. I found these online and then I used them for decorating inside the castle. This here is the scribe room. These men were learning to be clerks who were among the few who could read. Desk with a scroll, rolled up ones, feather pen, quill. Shelf with scrolls, more quills. 
Over here is the bath tower. Water was boiled in this fireplace because there was no indoor plumbing. Then it was carried upstairs. to the bath. People didn't bathe very often in those days. Here we are in the ladies' parlor room. This is where they could do embroidery, sing, play board games, and enjoy one another's company in their limited free time. Up here is the king and queen's bedchamber. Another big fireplace. And over here was his desk where he could write papers and look at books. And here we are again, the outside of the castle. I hope you enjoyed this video.